Sunday, May the 2nd, 1984, while Marco Workers and I was in and launch on the, the apple tree, we hear noise in the orchards that did not belong to the orchards. But eight police cars, FBI agents, right in the hills, and they stopped in front of us. And they came out of the car with weapon pulling at us. And they told us to hit the ground, and we did. Then I hear them call my name, but I'm scared to get up because of the weapon they was pulling at me. But I raised my arms. Then they said to get up and walk towards them, and I did. When I got in front of them, they told me to open my mouth. They wanted to see if I had a missing tooth, and I showed it to them. The truth is, it's still missing. <laughs> then they told me to sleep, roll this, the, the, the sleeve of, of my shirt from my left arm. They want to see a tattoo, and I showed it to them. Then they say, yes, you are the man we are looking for. You are wanted for unlawfully fly to avoid prosecution. We want us for your arrest for first degree murder and armed robbery in the state of Florida. So they ran me some rights. And they slapped some handcuffs on me. And they threw me in a police car. A week or so, and they took me to a federal prison. A week or so after that, they took me to court in front of a magistrate, a federal judge. He was talking about extradition. But I did not know what extradition mean. I was naive to the law, naive to the language. This is the type of English I know at that time. If I say five words in English, believe me, my friend, three of them will be cuss words. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they both interpreted to me to explain to me what extradition mean. And all he told me in Spanish was, you either wave it or fight it. They're going to take you back anyway. So I started thinking, I'm not a killer. My mama did not raise no killers. I would wave it. And as soon as soon they see this ugly face in Florida, they would let me go. But how wrong I was. So I wave extradition. And extradition from the state of Florida, from the state of Pennsylvania, all the way to the state of Florida. A week or so after my arrival, they took me to court in front of a judge, and he was reading the charges to me. You've been indicted, arrested, for first degree murder and armed robbery in the state of Florida sinking the death penalty against you, the electric chair. A week or so they took me right back to the same court, same, same, same judge. This time to call upon a lawyer for me, a public defender. The truth is, I'm not OJ Simpson. I don't have money to hire lawyers. So this public defender, I cannot have understand what he's saying because they never gave me an interpreter. But he used to pat me in the back and tell me that everything is going to be all right. You're going home. I did only do that going home stuff. I should go home. I did not commit the crime. So now we're going to trial. Monday, we start picking the jury. Tuesday, we still pick a jury. And after they pick 11 whites, one African-American person, a black man, no Hispanic, and I'm Hispanic, they read instruction to the jury how to conduct themselves in a capital murder case with a sinking, the death penalty. Wednesday, that's when the evidence come. And this is what they had against me. They have what they call a police informant. What they call in the streets a snitch. This, this, this police informant claimed that I confessed the crime to him. He also implicates a friend of mine in the crime. He gets arrested, he gets interrogated. He makes victim statement. He incriminates himself in the crime. He gets charged with it. First degree murder. I'm robbing. And they take him with the left share. It's time to make a deal. You see, prosecutors in the United States, they make deals with criminals. So he was able to strike a deal with the state. He gets his first degree murder charge dropped. He gets his armed robbery charge dropped all the way to accessory after the facts. No more threats of the electric chair. He gets two years probation, with two years he already had. And basically what he said in trial was, I picked him up, took him to the scene of the crime, dropped him off, came an hour and a half later, picked him up again, took him home, don't know what happened to after it happened. That's the entire evidence against me. No physical evidence against me. There's a testimony of two questionable witnesses with a criminal record from coast to coast. Two questionable witness, witnesses. Now 
make deals with the state, deals with the prosecutors. They give lenses, rewards for their own crimes. They commit. 